Hey Libra and welcome to your weekly love tarot readings. We are going to take a look at the love messages coming in for you here. Um, as always guys, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind throughout the reading. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address below the video here and the show more section along with all the information you will need. So the messages here are intended for Libra Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and to those cross-watching. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles here straight off the bat here. Pentacles, the world card, now bottom row, You've got the Knight of Swords, the Magician, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Okay, some of you here Libras are going to be gifted with something this week. Some of you are receiving a gift here. It could be a small gift, but I feel like it's something that is going to be very sentimental, or it's, it's something that is going to have quite a hefty price tag attached to it. Um, I don't think, look, you could be, you could be on the giving end or on the receiving end of it. I feel like a lot of you are on the receiving end where you're the one, you know, receiving this gift or this sweet gesture here, this sentimental um, item. I'm seeing like a promise ring, a pendant, a necklace. Um, it's something small, but I feel like the weight of it is... Um, very great here so it, go, it will go on to be very special for you and to have a lot of sentimental value here okay whilst others of you maybe you're you're the one gifting it you're the one that is you know ready to um, gift your romantic interest or your loved one with with uh, with a um, a promise ring or a pendant or a necklace it's with a gift that sort of um, gives this person great insight into how how much you truly value them and the, your connection with them. Okay, there could be some anxiety, some insecurities here that creep up. Something someone says may have you feeling a little bit insecure or you may feel as though it will bring out your insecurities or conversation with this person or just even being around this person here this week may bring out some sort of insecurities. Don't let those insecurities or those uh, fears or anxieties here go on to di dictate your actions with regards to you know love or romantic interests or just in general here. Um, but I am seeing some sort of insecurities here creeping up to the surface. Um, someone here could also leave you after you have an encounter with this person or after you have a conversation or some sort of experience with this person. They may leave you feeling in two minds about things. Whereas I feel like before going into whatever it is, for some of you it is a romantic interest. For others of you it's um, some sort of connecting energy here where you go into this experience with this person. Um, and you have a clear mind or like a clear intention, but then when you come out of the experience, those maybe the emotions are muddled for you, or maybe the intention, something here becomes unclear. So for some of you, what this means is that, say for example, it's like a no strings attached or casual arrangement type of situation, okay? You were happy to enter into such a situation, but then, um, coming out of it, I feel like you start catching feelings for this person, even though that was never your intention. So you go in with a clear intention, you know, uh, letting it be whatever it is, just a casual arrangement, no strings attached type of situation. You come out of it feeling all confused because lo and behold, you've caught feelings. So that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, you're going to be working on something this week, okay? So whether it's working on building a budding romance here, whether it's working on trying to build a connection with someone, or someone here is trying to work their way towards you so trying to work um, their way towards making a move on you or trying to reach out and connect with you here um, there's also a need for you to see um, two sides to a story here so you've got your side down pat okay you know what happened we've got your point of view but it's also important for you to consider someone else's point of view this week here especially regards to romantic interest or something here that happens for you this week it could also be um, 
a situation at work. I'm seeing that this could also be career related. So some of you could have, you know, a romance that is taking place in the workplace. Um, so yeah, it's just important for you. There are two sides to a coin, two sides to a pentacle. So it's important for you to consider both sides. Some of you are going to be meeting someone new. So for those of you that are single this week, I feel like you'll have a chance to connect with someone. When I say connect, I actually mean connect. I feel like you will be connecting with, the, with someone online. So for those of you that are active on social media or dating platforms or um, anything online, really, you'll be meeting someone, striking up a conversation with someone. Um, I'm seeing banter. I'm seeing flirtation. It just flows effortlessly. Like it's so organic here. Um, this person I feel like could be from a different country or someone from a different cultural background. I'm also seeing heavy accent, um, picking up like Middle Eastern, um, Mediterranean kind of energy here, South African, Egyptian, um, African here. Okay. Maybe even Australia down under here. Maybe they've lived in those countries here. Some of you also could be um, receiving closure though this week about someone or about a connection or maybe you're the one that's going to personally draw on some sort of closure here. Now there may be an argument here that ensues or there is some sort of conflict that I feel like uh, that will sort of it'll it will feel like it, it's appeared out of nowhere but really i feel like it's been there for quite some time and it was brewing beneath the surface it could it does involve you okay it does involve you and someone else here a romantic interest a connecting energy here something that they say could rub you the wrong way something that you say could rub them the wrong way because this is your energy i feel like you're the one that's on the attack mode so I feel like they f will be feeling attacked by you here Libra or they feel attacked they will personally feel attacked by you here even though you may not necessarily um, you know mean for it to come across that way but they f will personally feel hurt um, or misunderstood or something he is being miscommunicated by you so maybe just watch your words because I do feel like it can lead to something um, it could lead to some sort of tension here. You could find that you may disappear. You may feel the need to disappear from something or someone here for a while. Just lay low. Or you could find that uh, a ghost here from your past reappears this week. Um, and maybe that's what leads to this tension. Whereas I see you, Libra. You're like holding them accountable for their actions got on you. But maybe there's a different way to go about it. Um, but I feel like... Someone here could come back into the picture, they could reappear, or you could be the one that makes the reappearance here in this person's life. Okay, um... Someone here is losing your interest, or you, you're losing this person's interest, is what I'm seeing. And maybe this is someone who's made that disappearance, or maybe this is why you've pulled away, or this is why you're wanting to pull away. There is something here that I feel like, it could be a connection here, that is, um slowly fading it could be a romantic connection it could be a business professional connection it could be a friendship it could be some sort of endeavor you're losing interest for something or someone here it's just it's not captivated your interest it just doesn't hold your interest anymore here libra um i don't know why oh you could be getting distracted i feel like there is someone be careful because i don't know if it's you though if this is you you could be using someone as a distraction and if so there's a need for you remember how i said there's a need for you to consider someone else's point of view you may be using you know you, you're reaching out to this, you're reaching out to this person when it's convenient for you and whilst that works for you this person is you know this person is essentially being led on because they want this to be more than what it is or if it's the other way in if it works in reverse then someone here is reaching out to you when it's convenient for them or when they you know when they're feeling bored or when they could use a distraction again you're you know they they're doing their thing they're seeing things from their point of view but you're seeing things differently because you want to you feel like oh okay this could lead to something so yep there's really I feel like be careful whichever side you're on because there's um, potential to get hurt on either side. Um, there's a need for you to think ahead this week. Um, when making decisions this week, think about how this decision or how committing to this decision can impact your 
um, plans, especially your long-term plans. Like if you are entering a relationship here, and for those of you that, you know, do want to travel or do want to study abroad here, will you be, you know, happy to commit to a long-term relationship, uh, to a long-distance relationship? That's just an example, but I feel like there's a need for you to really think before committing to a decision or before saying yes or even no to something or someone, think about how it might affect you in the long run. In the short run, yes, but more importantly in the wrong, long run, because this is foresight, this is looking ahead with the three of wands. And there you have it. I feel like an interesting week for you this uh, this week here, Libra. A lot of things happening here. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, take care, guys. Bye for now.